It's Thursday and it's Luke's weekly physical therapy day and he also has occupational therapy. We get to combine his time with his occupational therapist and physical therapist and we have this therapy for him every week at 8 a.m. Because it's so early, I often have a little breakfast tray set up for myself and I like go off camera and sneak a bite <laughs> throughout. So you can see my little breakfast. And then Parker and Duncan are usually awake at this point and running around and joining in and helping out. Which is so cool because maybe they'll be physical therapists someday. It's time, so let's do this. So we used to do these therapy sessions at our house and the therapist would come over and actually do all of the work with Luke, but now we do our meetings through Zoom and Luke loves signing on and seeing familiar faces. He's always smiling at the beginning of these meetings. It's so cute. And I feel like he recognizes them every time. He's just like super happy to see them. Are you so happy to see your friends? <laughs> so Luke has therapy because he has a rare micro deletion on one of his chromosomes. So this video isn't meant to be an instructional video or any sort of thing to tell parents how to raise their kids. This is specifically for Luke, which is documenting our journey through this. The therapy exercises are designed specifically for him and for his needs. We've been working on shaking rattle toys and banging toys together to make a sound. Luke tends to favor his right side, so we spend a lot of extra time each week getting him to do the tasks with his left hand and leg, uh, depending on what the exercise is. Sometimes he likes to transfer the toy that we're using to the dominant hand and we have to like either trick him or <laughs> hold his, his right hand down so that he'll actually do the activity with his left hand. He's gotten very sneaky at the transfer. He's very good at it. This is a good example of us having to put Luke into different positions. We're trying to get him into a side sit. It's a good transition posture to go from crawling to sitting and from sitting to crawling. So we're really working on that, trying to lock in that position with him. But he does not like to bend his leg for us. Now we're using a wedge to help him transition from one pose to another. Uh, the wedge just gives him a little lift, a little helpful lift, so that he doesn't have to do the full work from the ground up into a sit or from a sit all the way down to a ground. It's sort of a little middle position for him. We use toys a lot in order to coax Luke into uh, holding a position or doing some activity. And you can see right here, Jessica's trying to keep him in that side sit with a toy. Luke often puts his hand down with his fingers curled in and we're trying to get him to open up his fingers when he puts weight on his arms. It's better for him, it's gonna help him with crawling and it gives him more stability when, uh, when he's in a leaning sort of position. You can see Jessica holding his leg in position here so that he doesn't get out of that side sit. We always switch things around so that Luke gets practice using both sides of his body. So we'll do an activity on one side and then we'll rotate everything and do the same activity on the other side of his body. A lot of the time, both of us need to get involved in order to get Luke to do certain exercises. One person just doesn't have enough hands. <laughs> you have to position his feet and his legs and his arms and sometimes distract him while the other person's doing it. So Jessica and I work together a lot to get Luke to do the things that his therapists want him to do. Sorry, he laughs too much and he throws up. You can see me right there. I'm trying to open his hand up 
he's he's trying to fist his little fingers and I'm trying to like gently pry them open so that he's got more stability. We're guiding him with toys and trying to get him back up into a sitting position. A lot of this is us getting him used to the feeling of doing certain activities. That way he sort of remembers the feeling and it's not so foreign to him when he tries to do it himself. Uh, the best part of all of therapy is when he achieves something and we all celebrate. The therapists are celebrating over Zoom, we're celebrating. And in this session here, this is the first time that we're really kind of guiding him to clap. And by the end of the day, he was, he was clapping by himself. It was really cute. Another thing we use a lot is Parker's Gymnastics Balance Beam. We sit him on that and try and help him with his sitting position and balance. And a lot of the times, I don't think we do it today, but a lot of the times we, we have him try and reach across the line for a toy. So he'll reach with his left hand over to his right side to pick up a toy or uh, the other way around. Today we're setting up a step stool for him to put his hands on and this is a really good opportunity for us to work on balance, foot placement, making sure that the weight is being evenly distributed to his feet and again opening up those fingers. He loves the texture of stuff so he's always messing with the texture of the footstools. Now we're working on getting him to crawl. We move one leg forward a little and then try and get his hand to move forward. And today's the first day where he was able to do this without lunging face first into the carpet. So that was really exciting. He was able to hold all of his weight on one hand. Usually when he lifts one hand up, he just falls. And uh, he was able to hold it today, which was really, really cool. One thing that the occupational therapist helps us out with is feeding development and advice on feeding. Here we're showing how well Luke is doing with the food that we're feeding him. One concern that we have is that he gags a lot, especially when we feed him more solid foods like diced steamed carrots. And sometimes even when, when he's just having a puree, he'll, he'll go into a gag. And so uh, she's giving us some advice, some exercises we can do with him to try and calm down his gag reflexes. 
Also, Luke doesn't instinctively bring food to his mouth, so we're working on that here. We're letting him get used to holding the spoon while it's in his mouth. We're having him guide the spoon into his mouth uh, with our help and really just trying to get him used to that action of taking food and bringing it to his mouth because he's not naturally doing it on his own. Oops, <laughs> you can see a little gagging there. But he got it. Nothing came out, we're good. This is also his first time eating dry cereal and he did really well with it. We were kind of nervous giving it to him, but he did really well and he seemed to really like it. It's gonna be a little easier for him to grab the dry cereal than it was for the, the kind of slippery carrots that we were giving him before. So that's a typical therapy session for Luke. He's doing really well, and we are so thankful that we have access to this resource. We are so proud of Luke and all of the things that he's accomplished. He's such a hard worker, he's so determined, uh, and he's super friendly. And so we get some really, really good sessions during these therapy times. If you would like to keep up with our journey here, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. <laughs>